Okay, so I know in my update video I said I wasn't going outside, and of course the first footage I show for the first Cam Now Rhino video, I'm going outside. Um, that was my first time going outside in a little over two weeks. Definitely the first time I've been outside since I flew back from New York. And we, uh, I was with my family, we just kind of drove around. Uh, past the uh, ocean beach that we have here in San Francisco and then we stopped at a local uh, bubble tea place or boba if we call it here um, place to get like lunch and boba obviously um, which is like one of the staple things I absolutely have to have whenever I'm home <laughs> so I'm glad I finally got to have it luckily they were open too because a lot of restaurants even though you're still allowed to have takeout. Um, a lot of places are just closed. So it's hard to tell like which places are open and which places are closed, especially kind of like the local ma and pa places. So yeah, so we haven't really been eating out all that much anyway, but it's just hard to keep track of what places are still open. So yeah, so in terms of actual writing, I haven't gotten anything done yet. Um, the day to get something done was Wednesday, but like I said, we went out that day. Because I don't have any classes on Wednesday. Um, but thurs Tuesdays and Thursdays are like my busy day. Um, I have classes from, in this time zone, from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Because uh, as they were scheduled when I was back on the East Coast, uh, it was 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, so it's uh, like three hours behind and I had originally scheduled put my schedule together so that I um, Would not have a class that started before 11 a.m. Obviously that didn't end up working out <laughs> But at least it's not super early. I mean 8 a.m. for a college student is still pretty early <laughs> But it could be worse. That's what I keep trying to tell myself it could be worse. So yeah, this is probably the only update I'm going to have for uh, day one. And um, yeah, so Friday I only have one kind of like in-person Zoom class. So hopefully I'll get some writing done that day. I'll let you know. Oh, so today is Monday. It's day six. Um, I really haven't started writing at all. Um, well, I've done some like preliminary kind of like drafting stuff but in terms of actually getting words down I haven't really done anything. I'm getting into the same problem I ran into during NaNoWriMo in that um, homework kind of and uh, studying kind of has to come first. I have an exam tomorrow uh, so that's where most of my attention has been and then also I have a final research paper due for another one of my classes that's uh, due on the uh, 25th so that's kind of where all of my attention has been and you know it's just hard working from or being a student at home again kind of um it kind of feels like i'm in high school again but not really because like i take my classes right here in my bedroom <laughs> like this is pretty much the view people see when i check into my classes so yeah, so that's what it's been like right now. I, I'm gonna, my big goal of today, since I've done a fair amount of studying for my exams, to try to start really putting words onto a Word document today. So yeah, so let's see how that goes. And then um, maybe not tomorrow, but on Thursday when I don't have my exam, I'm gonna film like a follow my day kind of thing in terms of like being an online student. So yeah, that'll be fun. So yeah, so that's that's where today is taking me. <laughs> so I should also mention, um, the fanfiction I'm writing is Star Wars. So in preparation to write that fanfiction, I'm going back and reading books that takes place right before the start of the sequel trilogy. So that's like Force Awakens, Last Jedi. Um, it's called Star Wars Bloodline by Claudia Gray. It sort of like follows Princess Leia's um, journey through the New Republic. I don't, I don't know if anybody cares about this, but yeah, that's what I've been reading, and I've been reading it for free on the um, 
are on archive.org. They have like a national emergency library that they've opened up because of the coronavirus. And yeah, and it's been great for me because all the actual like physical libraries here where I am are closed and that is miserable. <laughs> so yeah, so that's how I've been getting some leisure reading done other than my readings for school. So Jacksepticeye Thanks. is um, raising oh, money um, to combat the coronavirus, um, which is really cool. And I wish he's asking other people to live stream um, to support the cause. I can't live stream because this is happening uh, as I'm having classes. I'm, I'm, I've, I've got like 15 minutes before my next class. I'm just checking in. They raised... Five hundred thousand dollars. They already hit their goal at like the six hour mark, cool. which is yes, Jack. It's so cool. Um, I've been watching him since like high school, so it's really cool to him to see him do all these like charity streams. Nice, Nate Dog. Thank you for the twenty. So yeah, uh, it's time for me to go to class, but I just wanted to show this because it's super cool. Alrighty, time to add my first session of words. Yay! Okay, so it's time to wrap up week one. I... I wish I could have gotten more writing done. I honestly do. But like I said um, earlier, it's, it's just sort of the reality of having to be a full-time student. I do realize now that I have more time being at home and not living in a dorm anymore, but... I think there's just, there are other things just going on in the world right now. Um, and even just in my life in particular, that whatever sort of advantage I would have had from being at home is kind of sort of evened out by everything else that's going on. So like I said, I'm not going to put pressure on myself, try to get words done. I have a lot of major stuff due this month. So that in terms of like my schoolwork, so that's going to take priority. So yeah, so that's where I am. Hope your writing's going well, and I will keep you updated. See ya. Thanks for watching. <laughs>